All right, your underlying energy is the Five of Wands. I can tell that there's some conflict. Y'all kept, <laughs> I can feel your energies were definitely popping out of these cards. All right, these cards are jumping. So four of four of cups, making decisions or really shifting your focus to um, something that is. Oh, making you shift your focus away from the familiar, away from the, you know, the same old, same old to taking a chance in a, in a new direction, really, you know, shifting your focus from the old and, you know, being, you know, being able to embrace a new, right? Because your mind, if your mind is in a different, in a, in a, in a mindset, if your mind is stuck in a certain way of seeing the world, you have to do something drastic. You got to kind of break free from that. But how you do that? By you know shifting your focus and being open to, to to new things right if it's emotional it's about being you know it's about shifting your focus to something different now you got the five of wands coming up in this reading here which indicates to me that there is some conflict now it could have been that you guys have been waiting on some sort of offer or you guys have been waiting on some sort of um response to an offer perhaps or you guys are just feeling emotionally stuck you don't know what you want you kind of feel it emotionally yeah, emotionally like congested, if that makes sense, you know, because it's just like it's been the same old stuff for so long and it just kind of feels like, you know, it's almost like that uncomfortable feeling of settling into a situation that you're not really 100% feeling. <clears throat> now, for some of you guys, <clears throat> yeah, I think the reason why the two of cups was coming up and temperance in the death card was coming up because I think you're remembering a time when your relationship, the current, the one that either you're currently in, uh, or the one that, or, you know, others that you've been in previous, how, you know, how happy they were, you know, how happy you were and trying to make sure that you weren't going into it with rose tinted glasses or trying to see if there was, what was the realness behind those emotions? Was it just the excitement of just being together or, or was it just, or, or was it legitimate hardcore feelings? And those are some one, those are the, some hard questions that only you can answer, Gemini, right? I can't answer those for you. You have to kind of figure those out on your own. And it's interesting that you have your card coming up here, which is the lovers um, crossing you. Now, the world is your is your challenge. Is the heart of the reading, which talks about the completion of a cycle, right? Ending something, letting things go. You're not necessarily letting things go, but you're transitioning from one phase of your life to the next. Nice, right? But the thing is, is that you have the lovers crossing that. So that, you know, that, you know, I'm going to say, you have some unfinished business regarding a connection that you have with an individual, regarding how you see love. You know, it could be that too, right? Now, it's very similar to Tar Taurus because they had the Ten of Swords and the lovers come out, you know, as a jumper. But the lovers... Is, is more of a personal thing, even though there's other people involved in this card, it's personal because this is you accepting your emotional side. I know it says, I know it's all about, you know, for a lot of readers, it's the choice, it's the decision. And I, and I personally used to read that way, but as I kind of, you know, got more involved in tarot and I, you know, talked to my, you know, my friend and that really, you know, that, you know, really helps me, you know, understand myself and what i read for myself all the time i realize that the lovers is not a choice it's more of a it's more of accepting that piece of us that we've tried to logically omit you know where we try to omit logically we're like okay well you don't you can't be trusted emotions because you could be you be leading me to these individuals that be breaking my heart and it's like that's not your heart's fault for doing that you know, it's actually, and, and it's nobody's fault. It's not about blame. It's, it, there is no blame involved in this. Everything's about experience. And the more we accept that, the more, the better we off we are. And the more we'll be able to see the lesson behind the things that we go through rather than trying to just, you know, sugar, shrug it off or, you know, point, you know, shift the blame so we can kind of not focus on it. This Venus retrograde has been brutal for everybody, especially since we have gone into Scorpio and it, and Venus came back out of Scorpio. And one of the reasons why it was so difficult for a lot of us, right, was because this was talk, looking at how we are in our relationships, our dynamic in relationships. So when we try to transition, because we're very close to being done here with the world card being there, it's like we are right next to this successful completion or, you know, a, a successful outcome to our, you know, our chapter that we're leaving behind, you know. We have this way of seeing relationships or way of feeling, a way of being in relationships that don't help us. That's why that five of wands is there. There's some conflict for sure, because 
when we look at love, we see this as like, okay, well, this is where I know it is. This is how I'm used to it being. I don't really see how we can make it different. And you can, right? It's about, remember, temperance. Making the, making the possible impossible. Removing all limitations. But it starts by removing your limitations on yourself. That's why divine timing, that's why temperance says focus on you. Focus on you. T focus on yourself. Focus on healing yourself. Making sure you're balanced. Because the only place and the only the most important place where you need to re to gain limit limitless um you know limitless boundaries is yourself. And that's what we're doing right now with temp with the you know with the world and the lovers. So I'm finished business with it regarding a ser with a love ma love mate or a a lover, a soulmate or. The dynamic in which we see relationships. Now, in the past, you had te the tower, so it's definitely something happened unexpectedly. Something came about, and I think this was a good thing, obviously, because what we move into is the nine of cups, right? I think it was a thing that you guys were definitely happy about turning out. I think you guys just didn't see it coming, and either way, that kind of freaked you out. Some of you guys may have been that tower. You just made it happen. You just went ahead and just clicked your fingers, say, "You know what? This is what I'm going to do." And I feel like that's why you guys are in a really good place. You actually feel really good right now. Feel really happy. But how you take that onto the relationship, you guys hit to the King of Swords. Now I don't have a, I don't pro, have I don't ever have a problem with the King of Swords. I don't. The King of Swords is a lovely card. I love him. He's my king. So you know, as a Libra and a female, you know, this is my king. But the thing is, go though, though, guys. I'm not reading for me. I'm reading for you guys. I I see you guys becoming more more you because you be you master your mental you master the mind you master the air quality of yourself and i think what this really means is with the king of sword the king of swords being here is that you master your mind so you can make room and space for the feelings that you got because you are overwhelmed with emotion at the moment and that's good right because the knight of cups is a good feeling card now, I feel like it's because you may have made a sacrifice that you definitely are now seeing the benefits of, or you may be feeling that, you know, you're, you're in a good place because either you've compromised or you've, you know, yeah, you've may have stood by what you believed in. You stood by your truth, right? I don't know if you severed ties, but I, I, I don't, I don't think this is, an, I mean, it's very really weird, right? Usually this is an empty victory and you have the nine of cups, which can be a victory in my opinion because you feel good nothing be, can be taken away from you no 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 disappointment no sadness no defeat can be given uh, disappointed i mean excuse, excuse me can take you take away that happiness right and i feel like with that five of swords there is that somebody you know i think you've really focused in on what it is on yourself you're focusing on yourself you're not really thinking about other people you're not thinking about other folks if they walk away, they walk away. But, but you're focusing on you right now. And that's the part that really makes things work. But I think the situation is this. The lovers is about involvement. Involving other people too. It's not just the dynamics in love. Of, well, it is the dynamics in love. Are you being more selfish? Are you being? Are you willing to open up? Are you willing to allow people in? And that five of swords may be trying to figure out. Well, is it worth including other people into this nine of cups? Because right after nine of cups, ten of cups. Where there is people involved. Right? But I feel like with the King of Swords, you become, I think you make room for your emotions with the King of Swords. Because the King of Swords is the master of his mind. And I feel like with you being Gemini, right? Having your head in your heart, you have to master one so you can make space for the other. If you become dominant one other way, you're suppressing one of your twins. And that can drive you crazy. Because then what do you think happens when you try to suffocate somebody? Or what do you think happens when you try to smother somebody? They get crazier and crazier until they come out. Right, just think about, you know, just think about, an, you know, like, uh, like say boiling water. Like you can't contain that bitch. You know, it's gonna boil. Right, it's gonna boil. It's gonna bubble oil. It bubble over. It's gonna go crazy. So, it's about making space for your emotions. It's about making space for you for how you feel, but also making the best decisions for you, but on based on your own real you know your own religion to yourself your own belief system and how you believe you should you know people should treat you how you should treat yourself etc now <clears throat> i think you guys want a relationship here because the higher friend is in your goal and ambition okay i do really think that you want this i do some of you guys could be seeing it taurus but I don't necessarily think that this has to be anybody, because this could this could be that you want to commit to yourself, 
um, and to feel, you know, like you're headed in a different direction on how you feel and commit to that, right? You want to commit to the new you, commit to the new boundaries, commit to the new routines, um, commit to commit to the new structure that you set for yourself or dynamic that you set for yourself. Now you may have a, um, you may be wondering whether or not this is a, a dream worth pursuing here because there may be a relationship or a real a age rate or age race culture religion dynamic that's different there may you may be dealing with somebody that has a totally different culture than you do you may be dealing with somebody that's very different in regards to um the kind of person that they are like who the kind of person that you you know you've been used to dating or being around or you know being used to but should that stop you from having the relationship? You know, because the King of Swords is open. He doesn't change his truth, but he's open to, to, to people. He's open to truth. He's open to different folks. He's not going to change his own. His, it's, it's stuck. It's not fixed. I mean, it's not, it's not fluid. It's stuck. It's fixed. So it's not good. He's not going to change all that, but he's open to things. He's open to gaining a different sort of perspective from other people to kind of figure out for himself if that's something he wants to change. But even then, right, he, it's, he's not, he's not going into it to change his perspective. He's going into it because he's secure in his perspective because it's, it's something that settles him. It's grounding him. It's something that he's definitely 100% he believes y'all could be seeing Aquarius for all I know. But the situation is this, it's like, I feel like you guys want to commit to something. I think you guys want to be in a relationship or in a stable commitment with the per with this person. And I feel like it comes from committing to yourself and that is committing to committing to your real, to your emotions, most importantly. Okay. Now you guys have the page of cups in your, um, your outcome and I, I don't mind this here because this is a cultivation of something new, something, um, you know, emotional for you guys. Like some, it has a lot to do with your heart's desire, you know, cultivating of your heart's desire here. And I don't mind this card coming up because, you know, you got to start somewhere and you got, you know, and I feel like this is also communication of love here. Somebody may come out and communicate with you about how you feel, or you feel more encouraged to do that very same thing. Just coming from the heart and communicating based on your emotions, no longer being the detached Gemini or the Gemini that's afraid of commitment. You know, you're going to embrace that bitch. You're going to be like, yeah let's get married i'm just kidding for some of you guys maybe that's the conflict right the conflict is whether this was a is a good decision to be open like this to be in you know to be good to be feel happy or to or to you know to take, by taking a risk or sacrificing something right and i feel like <clears throat> your advice is saying to commit to commit to yourself, to commit to this dream, to commit to your wish, commit to the relationship, because the King of Swords never loses himself. When he was even when he was married to the Queen of Swords or divorced, he never lost his self. That's why they're divorced. Their dynamic didn't work, right? Or they, it maybe it did a little too well. Who knows? But the King of Swords never loses himself, and that's why I say when it comes to this situation, I don't think you lose anything. You don't ever, I mean, not really. I feel like, what, you just not be, you know, you no longer be, are you no longer single? Cool. All right. But the thing is, is that you don't lose yourself though. You know, the person in your life, the soulmate that comes into your life, as I, as when I was doing those um, soulmate investigation readings last week, that was for, you know, to help you figure out who you have become to get to your highest potential because the soulmate is not meant to change is not meant to mask you it's supposed to show you back to yourself so you could get to a better place and this is venus retrograde so you can be damn sure that that's what's gonna happen so let's go let's go ahead and pull your messenger oracle card for t for the next couple weeks here see the truth and it, that's pretty blatant right there in itself right See the truth of a situation, of the dynamic of something, right? Understand where you're coming from. Understand where the other person's coming from, you know? Everything that's in the darkness will come to light. And there's nothing in the dark at all, as a matter of fact, okay? Well, there's the moon that's coming up. I was searching for that. I was like, where is it? But this was talking, you know, when I go back into these decks, right? It's going through, 
it's the confusion that we have in ourselves because there's nothing confusing here the, the world is a great energy the tower you had everything hit rock bottom you had the foundation completely destroyed it could have been a you know, it could have been you that's done it it could have been someone else all in all you're coming from a place of a you know reset resetting standard you know you're coming from a reset like position so seeing the truth is practically saying you know you're just walking on new ground to start fresh you're going from a place and you're, and you're going into this with a specific pers perspective know that that perspective may not be your truth if, especially if it doesn't resonate if you're if this is this five of swords is not resonating with you then it's because it isn't you know that this isn't your truth i'm going to go ahead and read you the affirmation for that too all right but all in all, see the truth is like, don't let your mind formulate all these opinions and things. And uh, I mean, of course, it's good to formulate opinion. But the point of it is, is like, don't let your mind conjure up something that isn't real. Because right? you're coming from something that, you know, that's from like the, the blankest of blankest slates. Now, do not be deceived. Be watchful and mindful of the illusions others weave around you, uh, around them, around your, oh, excuse me. Um, let me reread re -read that sentence. Be watchful and mindful of the illusions others weave around themselves and that you may weave around yourself. Know that, know the night, understand the shadows, see through the darkness to the light of the truth. Pay attention to trans uh, contradictions. Notice when actions and words are not in harmony. Hone your intuitive, hone your intuition and insight so that you may know the minds and hearts of those around you and yourself and trust in the wisdom born of that awareness. Don't let yourself get confused now. Now, if somebody's around you that's confused, then there it is. You know, you got two cards in here that indicate really tough times that can potentially be with other people. Now, if you're having arguments with somebody then it's they're showing their true sides you know you know this person is going to be showing their true sides especially if they're coming out and they're being very selfish they're not considered you know being considerate they're coming out you know there's nothing wrong with selfishness i always say that but if they're not being compassionate if they're not being you know considerate then you have it you know then that's the difference because you can always be selfish and and and, and still be considerate but if somebody is has showing red flags yeah watch that watch that mess they're gonna watch this moment now because you're gonna be you know you're gonna be observing a lot and I feel like if this is a dynamic between you and another person yeah the arguments are real the five of wands five of swords but I really felt like this was more a personal thing imagine wow and this is talking about dreaming allowing yourself to dream allowing yourself to to um kind of fall fall into the illusions the very thing that the king you know the the, the see the truth was kind of saying you know to be careful of in a way what it was saying was don't be deceived by your by your imaginations and i feel like what this is saying don't be afraid to dream so and it's like okay that sounds really contradicting Venus, what you're trying to say basically is this y'all anything any too much of anything is a bad thing you have to balance it out right this is why you have to balance your head and your heart because your heart is the creative aspect of you while your heart or your head of course is the logical seeing all signs and truths you know you know that's your side that's the other side you have to balance the two of these y'all you have to balance you have to be able to see the situation from the clearest portion that's why you come out the king of swords in the future but you also have to allow yourself to feel and, and dream you know you can't do one or the other don't let your dreams don't let your imagination overcome your mind because you won't be able to see any sort of craziness that's going on around you you don't want to let this become too serious or, or else you eliminate all aspects of a emotion. You detach. You no longer feel yourself. And you end up becoming more protective of yourself than you are. Then you are in the moment and being open to love to receive that love back. So that's why the, if the, I don't mind the page cups here because it's like 
you're kind of cultivating a sense of desire for yourself and desire for your relationships. The King of Swords doesn't even need to be you. It could be somebody that you end up manifesting in because you not only open yourself to love, you also, you know, you know what you're going into. You know what you're willing to sacrifice. You're not going to be disillusioned by everybody else and you're not going to be dealing with other people that are going to sabotage your progress because you know what's going on. You're focusing on you. You're making sure that you're, you know, doing your own thing. You're doing going through some serious changes with the five with the world. You already gone through the you know the the tower energy, and then you got the hierophant front here that's still talking about changing. But you have the five of swords and the five of wands. Difficult changes, but they're all about you know your moral standard and the actions that you take in regards to to being authentic to who you are. And those changes there are what's going to you know make this you know relationship dynamic redefin redefinition for you guys I feel like a lot stronger than it has been but you have to kind of we have to keep things balanced very temperance very temperance I'm surprised it didn't come out but very temperance of it